Nikki Glazer, the woman who stole the Tom Brady roast. Mm -hmm. It's just been announced about an hour ago that Nikki is going to be hosting the next Golden Globes. She put the announcement out on her social media saying that she's going to be hosting the event. Uh, let me read a quote here from her where she said the following. Some of my favorite jokes of all time have come from past Golden Globe opening monologues when Tina, Amy, or Ricky have said exactly what we all didn't know we desperately needed to hear. She continued, I just hope to continue in, uh, in that time-honored tradition that might also get me canceled. This is a truly a dream job. Plus, I no longer have to feel guilty for every TV show and movie I've binged over the past year. It was all worth it. Below Decks, Sailing Yacht, Season 4 will be nominated, right? <laughs> well, Nikki, it's the Golden Globes, so you never know. It could very well happen. Very now, possible. look, I am, um, if not famous, then at least infamous for my disgust of the Golden Globes. They're such a useless piece of garbage thing. But the dichotomy of that is I've always had to acknowledge they put on a good show. I mean, their awards are as useless as any paperweight. It's pointless. I mean, the, the, getting a Golden Globe really means nothing. But, but they do put on a hell of a show. Uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler hosting. <laughs> great example of that. Ricky Gervais hosting. They've had great moments in there. And getting Nikki Glaser to host this thing is brilliant on three levels. Brilliance, number one, she's hilarious. She is truly one of the funniest people on the planet right now. Like, she, she is just bone-shakingly funny. It's just unbelievable. Number two, she is known for this style of comedy and taking advantage of all the heat she's got right now coming off that Tom Brady thing, which, by the way, if you've never watched the Tom Brady roast... You should watch the Tom Brady roast. It's really funny. Uncomfortably so, but really funny. But here's the third and the main reason why I think getting Nikki Glaser to host the Golden Globes is an absolutely genius move. It's because she comes with the pure wit of Amy Puller and Tina Fey with the cutting edge of a Ricky Gervais. But here's what I think makes her better than all of them to host the Golden Globes. When she rips you apart, it never feels mean. D do you know what I mean? Like when she is roasting you, it doesn't feel mean. Like it, it, it naturally feels like it's in fun. Like when she says, when she says to Tom Brady, it's like, wow, Tom, how's it feel right now that your wife is with a guy who could beat your ass at the same time that he's eating hers? I mean, that could come across as really mean if said by, say, a Ricky Gervais, who I adore Ricky Gervais, but the advantage of Nikki Glaser is she can say the harshest, most deep-cutting stuff, but it again, it just never comes across as mean. And I think that gives her the best of both worlds as a host of the Tina Fey and Amy Puller and the Ricky Gervais. Mm -hmm. It's the best of both. And I think she is going to kill this. I'm about to say something I haven't said in 20 years. I cannot wait to watch the Golden Globes. Dang. When, when, when have you ever heard me say that? Ah. Answer? Never. 20 years ago? 20 years ago? <laughs> Now, you never heard me say it on this show, though. I paid attention in class. I am Good now job. excited to watch the Golden Globes. And I think she is going to absolutely slay it. And, and again, coming off the... Look, she's been famous for a long time. But coming off, again, the Tom Brady roast, that where, again, she absolutely stole the show. One of my other favorite things was, you know, Tom, you haven't won at everything, though. You lost $30, $30 million in crypto. Hell, even Gronk was like, me know that not real money. I mean, that was like one of... But again, could have come across as mean, but it came across as fun and allows everybody to laugh and relax and, and burn and rip and roast while everybody's having a good time at the same time. And that's why I think she's perfect for this. Anyway, Chris, 
You just found out. Yes. About this, that she's going to be literally hosting. Literally walking in. Yeah, literally walking in. I said, did you see this? What did you think about uh, her being the host of the uh, awards? Oh, I think this is great. She's so funny. She's so, so wonderful. And to your point, she does a great job of tearing people down, but it feels like an honor almost to be roasted by oh, her. Oh, yeah. I, I do have that moment, though, of if you guys thought that Ricky Gervais was too mean, wait till you hear some Nikki Glaser jokes. Yeah. Because she does go for the jugular. She just does it in such a way that you're like, yeah, this seems fine. This seems like she's a nice lady saying mean things about me. That's fine. <laughs> I really, really enjoy her. I've actually been following Nikki for a long time, too. My friend Mia Topalian played little Nikki on her show. Um, I think it was called Not Safe with Nikki Glaser. Really? When she had her own TV show back in 2016. Um, I just adore her. I think she's so, so wonderful and so funny. And uh, I'm excited to see how she's also going to self-roast because she does some really, really great self-referential humor as well. Yeah. And I think that evens out kind of the the jabs. The the self-roasting stuff she said at the Tom Brady roast, I can't I can't even repeat. Oh, we'll like, get demonetized faster than I ever could. Oh yeah. Yeah. She yeah, she it would I it would it would be bad. By the way, one of my favorite other jokes, she was doing a roast of Jewel. The musician Jewel. Yeah. She's ah Jewel, or as I like to call you, Trailer Swift. <laughs> Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside, and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver-infused fabrics that are temperature regulating, so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code, code Campia checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring sponsoring this episode which <laughs> anyway She's guys great. question is for you what do you think about this i think this is an absolute stroke of genius to have nikki glazer host the golden globes again first time i can ever remember saying i can't wait to watch the golden globes doesn't happen until january so it's still a long ways off whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts